If I were to restart my e-commerce journey, here's what I would do to make $100,000. I wish someone told me this two years ago, so I wouldn't have wasted tens of thousands of dollars. I would first pick my product and then start off with the dropshipping model, where I am only ordering the product from the manufacturer once a customer actually places the order from my store. This is so I don't have to purchase any inventory in bulk, so it is a very low startup cost. And by doing this, I am also able to validate if my product actually has demand before doing a bulk purchase with the inventory. I would create a Shopify store and then create app creative so I can run some pay-per-click advertisements to generate traffic for my store and see if people are actually interested in purchasing this product. Doing this will allow me to validate whether people are actually interested in purchasing my product and if this product has consistent demand. If I do see sales starting to come in, my goal is to aim to hit $1,000 in sales per day consistently. Once I do reach $1,000 per day in my sales consistently, profitably of course, then I'm going to look into branding because I do not want to stay dropshipping forever. I will work with the 3PL, third party logistics, to customize my product to improve the product quality, improve the shipping time, as well as have custom packaging. I will also order the product in bulk so I'm able to decrease my product costs and increase my profit margins. And then I'll continue to improve my product quality over time using customer feedback because I'll be making sure to build a community and connect with my customer regularly. By starting your e-commerce business this way, you're able to decrease a lot of the risk that comes from having a product based business while still being able to brand and create a competitive mode around your product later on. If you want to learn more about e-commerce and dropshipping, be sure to hit that follow button.